Hello everyone and welcome back. In this lecture we'll learn about nested lists. We'll be creating nested lists and see how we can access elements in nested lists. So let's create a couple of nested lists and we'll save them in a variable. Let's say 1a and I'll set that to be equal to First of all, nested list means a list within a list. So when we have lists inside a list, we call them nested lists. So let's say we have a list 1a and has the elements 2, 4, and 6. Let's create two or three more lists. Let's say list 1. 1b then let's say it has the elements 3 7 and 9 let's create one more list list 1c and it has the elements 12 22 and 45 let's add one more list list 1d and it has the elements 46, 34, and 11. So we have four lists here. Now what we'll do is we'll create another list and then use this as elements of our list. So let's say nested list and then that will have this four lists so we can say list 1a list 1b list 1c and finally list 1d So let's run that and let's call the individual list elements. So if we call list objects, if we call our first list object, list 1a, list 1a is not defined. Oh, I haven't run my cell. Run this and let's run list 1a so list 1a has the elements 2 4 6 similarly if we call the other three lists list 1b we have 3 7 9 and so on now let's call our nested list nested list so if we call our nested list object we have a list containing these four lists so that's one element, this is the second element, third element, and last element. So if we call if we call the length function and then pass nested list, we see that it's of length 4. Good. Now let's see how we can access different elements in our list. Let's say we want to grab 4 grab four from our nested list how can we do that so we use indexing for that first we have to know where four is so four is in the first list here so this is index this whole list is index zero this is index one two and three so first we have to obtain this list so we can simply say nested list at index zero. So that will give us this list. Remember it's a single element. So we have two, four, six. And then four here is at index one. So this is index zero, this is index one. So we can say zero and then one 
So if we run this again, we get four. So nested list, first the index of the list, and then the index within that list. Let's look at another example. Let's say we want to grab 45 here. How can we do it? So we can say nested list. So 45 here is first the index of the list. So 0, 1, 2, index 2. And within this list, 45 is at index 0, 1, 2. Again at index 2. So we can simply say 2. And that will grab 45 for us. Another way to do this is, I think it's simpler. Okay, to do it step by step. So first grab this list, which is at index 2. So simply pass 2. So you have that, and then let's save this in a variable called next one. If we call next one, you get the same result, 12, 22, and 45. Now you can, now it's easier to index 45, right? Which is next one at index two. So this is index zero, index one, index two. So next one at index 2 will give you 45. So you can do it in by breaking it down into two steps. That could be simpler. Great. Next, let's create another, another nested list. And I'll save it in a variable called nested list 2. And I'll set it to be equal to my nested list, which is this. Then let's add two more elements. Let's say 26 and 29. So we can do that. And if we call our nested list two object, we get this. From here, let's say we want to grab four. How can we do it? The first thing we have to do is grab this list, right? Grab this list. And if you notice here that if you call the length function and then pass nested list, the nested list two object that we created, you see that it's this list is of length three. It looks like it could be, it, it looks like it's, it has a bunch of elements, but the length is only three. So that's the first thing you have to figure out. And if you see, this is, this big nested list is one element. And then you have this element and then this. So to grab four, we first have to grab the list within this big nested list. So to index that, so this long nested list is at index zero. Since it has three elements, this is index zero, 26 is at index one, and this is at index two. So let's grab index zero. So we can simply say nested list two at index zero and run it. Now we have this. Here, four is where? Four is in this list here. So now my list here has four elements. One, two, three, four. And this is the first index, which is index zero. So we can pass zero again, and that will give us two, four, and six. From here, it's much easier, right? So four here is at index one. So that will give us four. You see here, we're doing index, another index, sub index, and so on. So that's how we can do it. Let's look at another example. Let's say we want to grab 
11. How can we do it? Okay, we'll break it down into three steps to grab the index of this element 11. So first, same thing as we did, this is index zero. So let's grab that. We have our nested list to object at index zero. That will give us this. And if we save this, let's say in some variable, xxx now let's call our xxx object we have this we want to grab 11 so our object xxx if you call the length function on it you see that it's of length 4 so let's grab this which is at index 3 so index 0 1 2 and 3 so xxx at index 3 will give you this last list. Let's run it. Okay, we have that. So far, so good. And let's save this in another variable called x. Now, if we call x, we have 46, 34, and 11. So here to grab 11, it's easy which is 11 is at index two. So we simply pass X at index two and we got, we get 11. So the indexes that we passed are two at the end, three before that, and then zero. So if we call our nested list two object and simply pass the individual indexes so first we passed zero in the second step we passed three and then two so zero zero and then index three and then index two zero three two so that will give us 11. great that's what i wanted to cover in this lecture so we saw what nested lists are and we saw how we could grab individual elements from our nested lists. Thank you everyone, and I'll see you at the next lecture.